Hello, grade 11s, and welcome to your course selection video for the 2021-22 school year. So as you're veterans now, so you know this time of year we're choosing classes for next year, and an and important year it is for you. You really, wanna, you really wanna make sure you're finishing this year off strong so that you can go into your grade 12 year knowing that you're on track and ready to, to walk across that stage at the end of your grade 12 year. So selecting the correct courses is so important for you uh, this year. You need to make sure that you're keeping track of all those uh, required classes and making sure you have all the requirements you know, to get your 24 credit credits and, and to make sure that you're, you're walking across that stage. So today is the first part of kind of two phases for our course selection this year. Uh, as per usual, you're gonna get kind of an idea of all the different courses that we offer here at Tommy Douglas. Normally we're in the theaters showing you the slideshow, uh, but this year it's coming to you in the form of a video, kind of like everything else because of COVID. So that will be the first part uh, to, that you'll go over today. And then the second part, which will start back up on January 25th to the 29th, teachers are gonna walk through and remind you about the process of how to log on to Mayfoy and get all your courses. They'll make sure that you've got your, your three-year grad plan is in line and you have everything set to go uh, for your kind of your credit checks that counselors will do next year. February 1st is when course selection opens this year and it will remain open till February 22nd. Please make sure you have all your choices in you know, before the 22nd. Uh, also remember, there are lots of supports in the building. So we have our teachers, our counselors, and obviously keep your parents in the loop uh, about what classes you're taking because they, they can provide you some really good sources of uh, feedback and support as well while you go through this process. Obviously at any time, if there's any questions or concerns, please co contact you know, student services or admin or anybody in the building uh, to answer those questions. And other than that, I wish you good luck in, in the remainder of the, of the year and good luck in, chain, in selecting your courses. And I'll pass it on to our student services crew so that they can give you some more information before you start going over all the classes we offer here at Tommy Douglas. So thank you for listening and get those choices in. Hello, I'm Ms. Armstrong, one of the school counselors here at Tommy Douglas. Today we're talking about course selection and there's many steps that we can take in terms of our course selection process. So um, we um, can talk to a variety of people about course selection, such as your specific subject teachers. So if it is, if you're wondering what sort of math stream that you should take, um, talk to your math teacher, see what they might recommend. You may want to talk to an adult at home about those future ambitions. And it's okay not to know what you want to do for the rest of your life yet, um, but if you have some idea about those future ambitions, it may indicate the types of courses that you need to take in high school. And of course, you can make an appointment to see one of us in the school counseling office uh, to talk about course selection. And so you probably know by now, um, but there are three of us counselors. Ms. Lee Waldy works with grade nines and 11s. Mr. Burke works with grade 10s and 12s. And I help out with grades 10, 11, and 12, and I'm half time here in counseling. Here's our photos, just so you know who you're looking for. Um, and your best bet, there's a um, QR code located across from our office that you can scan to request an appointment. Um, or send us an email uh, and ask to come see us to talk about course selection. We'd love to help you. Um, and we'll talk about post-secondary planning as well, um, as that may indicate what sort of classes you want to take. Or if you just want to check to make sure the classes you're thinking of taking works towards graduation and your post-secondary plans. Uh, you should have received an invite by now to your graduating class site. So it might be the graduating class of 2022-23. Um, um, and so on that Google Classroom, we'll be posting course selection information, but we also post a variety of other resources and information. Um, if you haven't yet received an invite, pop down to Student Services, let us know so we can get you connected on our Google Classroom, as there's lots of very valuable resources located on there. It's important to know to graduate that there's a variety of requirements. You need to have 24 credits to graduate, um, and you need to complete some mandatory requirements, which you'll see on the four-year plan document. 
When we talk about mandatory requirements, these are classes that you have to take in order to get your high school diploma. We'll also sometimes talk about electives. So electives are courses where you get to choose what you want to take, and those credits do work towards graduation as well. And then you'll notice sometimes that there are prerequisites to the courses that we're taking. So a prerequisite says you must have this class before you can take the next one. An example would be you must have physical science 20 in order to take chemistry 30. So physical science 20 is a prerequisite. So when you're taking a look at what classes to take, in grade 10, everyone takes 10 credits with a full schedule. Um, and in grade 11 and 12, we want to continue to monitor those credits to make sure you're on track. If you do that uh, eight credits a year in 10, 11 and 12, that gets you to 24. Or maybe you have 10 credits in grade 10 and then you'd be able to take a few more spares in grade 11 and 12 if you want. Um, it's really up to you, but we want to make sure that you're working towards that 24 credits to graduation and then making sure you have the requirements for any post-secondary programs you want to attend. It's important to check the grad plan, which is located in the course selection booklet. The graduation plan shows you how to get to grad, what it is those mandatory requirements, what are the elective options that you might have, uh, and you want to check these on here. So you'll see in grade 10, which classes you have to take, grade 11 and 12, um, just a part of the document is here on the slide and the rest of it is located in the course selection booklet. So I encourage you to take a look. Salut, 11 Hey, grade 11s. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Madame Lafreniere or Madame Laf, and I'm the core French teacher here at Tommy Douglas. I am just here to tell you that it is not too late to join core French if French is something that you've always wanted to learn. The only thing is that you do need to start in French 10, which is usually in semester one, and then you would continue on to French 20 in semester two. Now in doing so, uh, if and when we get the AOK -okay to travel again, you would be eligible to take part in the trip to France, which happens in your grade 12 year. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Come and see me, I'm upstairs in room 206. I would love to answer any questions that you may have. Merci, au revoir, thanks, bye. Salut, onzième. Voici un list des cours que vous suivrons l'année prochaine en douzième année. Et comme vous pouvez voir, il y a seulement trois. Uh, N'inquiétez-vous pas, je garderai un peu de temps la semaine prochaine uh, pour répondre aux questions si vous en avez. Merci. Au revoir. Hey folks, Mrs. Flamin here. I'm here to talk to you today about grade 12 English. So in grade 12, you do need to take two sections of English again. The first is the A section, and this is a course that you will need to complete to graduate, just as a kind of a side note. So the 30A course is focused entirely on Canadian literature, on Canadian perspectives, on Canadian experiences. The second course is the B section, also, this is another one you'll need for graduation, but this is focused on international literature. And then you're looking at who you are and your place in the world through the searches for self, sorry, and the social experience. So make sure that you're registering for both sections when you're choosing your grade 12 classes. But then also, at this point, you have the option to take the AP course. So if you're taking this course, you will get the credits you need to graduate in Saskatchewan. Uh, but with that, you'll have a chance to write the AP exam in May. So this is a really great course if you're thinking about university in any way. Um, this will really prepare you for that first year of university where you do, I think in all areas of study, have the uh, requirement of taking your English 100 course. This will really prepare you for that or even if you are successful on this exam, 
it will make it that you don't have to uh, take this course. You've already got the credit. So maybe if you want to move quicker through university or if you want to focus on a different area of study, uh, this will potentially get that credit moved out of the way for you. If you have any questions, you can talk to Ms. Nairn, Ms. Flamin, Mr. Green, um, but think about it as one of your options. At the 30 level, there is only one course that is required, and that is History 30. This is one of the three classes you must have to graduate, so you must make sure that when you register, that you register for History 30. History 30 is Canadian history, and it looks at the forces which have shaped and continue to shape Canada, all the way from prehistory all the way up to present day. Some other options that are also included in the social sciences for the 30 level are Law 30, Life Trans 30, and Psychology 30. They are not requirements to, for graduation, but you can take them for credit. Hi there, my name is Mr. Cuff, and I'll be walking you through some of the fine arts options that we have here at Tommy Douglas. For music classes, guitar, choral, and band, these performance-based classes offer students an opportunity to express themselves through music. Guitar classes lend themselves well to independent study where students can learn to grow at their own pace, also while learning to play as a group, where choral and band are primarily learning to play as an ensemble. There are multiple different genres explored in both band and choir in effort to appeal to any listener. The Tommy Douglas Dance Academy welcomes everyone regardless of your dance experience, gender, or body type. Our classes offer you an opportunity to learn fun dances with your classmates in a variety of styles like lyrical, contemporary, jazz, street and hip hop choreography, as well as cultural dances. Our classes enjoy performing at school pep rallies, special assemblies, sporting events, and our own recitals. You can check out some of our virtual performances on our Tigers Dance Instagram page. Arts Ed, otherwise known as musical theater, is a great way to get involved and meet others as the student roster is usually north of 50 people. This class is a combination of singing, dancing, and acting, where we typically put on a full production in May. Past productions have included Little Mermaid, Grease, Newsies, and many more. This is a popular class that ends up building very fond memories for our graduates and for our community. Drama offers an opportunity to craft your skills with acting. Students that are more kinesthetic and have energy to burn often enjoy the physicality of acting and performing where you can pretend to play a different role other than your true self. Highlights of this course include writing and performing one act plays, speaking in a different dialect and improvisation. Visual art is a studio class that asks for the student to creatively express themselves in a variety of media the primary focus is personal art production with a few theory projects, including art history and criticism. Overall, if any of these classes excite you, please take a risk and you will be rewarded with a great experience and a memorable, memorable product. In Clothing 30, we look at language of fashion, redesign, restore, recycle, pattern alternations, design fundamentals, and our major projects will be a quilt, we, look, we do some musical costuming and students obviously have a choice in one of their projects. In Foods 30, we look at current food issues and how these impact our food choices like climate change, food waste, security and sovereignty, we look at nutrition, Canadian food mosaic and international cuisine. In PAB 30, which is our housing and interior design 30 survey course, we look at elements and principles of design. We create some portfolio work with that. We look at successful and applied design. Homes are for people, which includes universal need, housing and society, housing decisions. So choosing a place to live and renting versus buying. We look at different careers and learn how to design a floor plan. In Photography 30, we splash into Photo 30 Studio with water punk, ink drop, water refraction, and more. The experienced student photographer plans independent work as well as a working as working alongside friends in the studio setting. We build on previous camera and Photoshop skills and take part in the most colorful final ever. Photo 10 
at slash 20 is highly recommended. Please take the mom a moment to look at the previous student work, which is in also included in this slide. In Information Processing 30, it, we use it, we're looking at advanced use of Microsoft Office, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Premiere Pro. Continuation of graphic design concepts from Information Processing 20 is also used. We look at web design, digital portfolios, digital imaging, graphic design, stop motion videos, and video production. Hey, present grade 11s, it's Miss Carter, the career and work education teacher and facilitator for Tommy D. CUX 30A30B is a two credit course running in the afternoon. You will complete two work placements outside the school, each one approximately 65 hours. This will be your opportunity to further research your chosen career direction or dig into possibilities. Further improve your resume with experience from the placements. Build up apprenticeship hours if trades is your direction. There is also a place for the highly academic student as occasionally we can land placements at the university. This academic placement will require a discussion with Ms. Carter immediately. This is the course that you've all been waiting for, advanced woodworking. Once you learn about solid goods in grade 10 and then sheet goods in the level 20, you can now choose the project that you want to build and use the semester for that. Advance your woodworking skills through building a project of your choice. In our robotics program, you will have the opportunity to learn about a number of different electronic components, be able to utilize those components in circuits that you build and design, and then learn how to use computer software to control electronic circuitry. Biology 30 is the senior life science course option. It will introduce students to the topics of cell structure and function, genetics and biotechnology, evolutionary processes, and the diversity of life through taxonomy. You can either take Environmental Science 20 or Health Science 20 as the prerequisite for this class. Advanced Placement Biology is a program where students who earn two high school credits in biology, as well as have the opportunity to write the College Board AP exam, which can lead to earning a university course credit. The class is focused on laboratory experiments and covers the areas of biochemistry, cell structure and process, genetics, heredity, evolution, ecology, diversity of life, and taxonomy. Health Science 20 and Physical Science 20 are the prerequisites for this course. Remember, this is an all-year class. Physics 30 starts with the description of motion, then moves into the causes of motion. Topics of study include free fall, momentum, circular motion, energy, Newton's laws, friction, electricity and electrostatics, and nuclear physics. Physical Science 20 is the prerequisite for this course. Earth Science studies the structure, age, and other aspects of the Earth. Sustainable resource development, geological hazard assessment, fossils and geologic history are used to guide discussion around the appropriate use of the Earth's resources. These are key to developing our understanding of the planet. You can take either Environmental Science 20 or Physical Science 20 as the prerequisites for this class. In Chemistry 30, students study atomic structure, organic chemistry, equilibrium, solubility and solutions, acid-base equilibria, and oxidation reduction reactions. Practical experiments and problem-solving skills are emphasized throughout the course. Physical Science 20 is the prerequisite for this class, and math skills are important for success in the course. Computer Science 30 will build on the concepts and processes developed in the Computer Science 20 prerequisite using the computer language Python. A broad view will be taken of game design, game structure, and game methodology, with a focus on program structures such as conditionals, loops, and program flow. Sorry about that. Hi, grade 11s, Ms. Hamilton here. I'm going to share with you some of the pathways you can take in mathematics in your grade 12 year. The most important piece is that you need a 20 level math class to graduate. And so it's important that you ensure you already have this or that you select it for this year. This course is going to be either Workplace or Apprenticeship 20 or Foundations 20. You already might have one, but make sure if you don't, you take one. Math could be an elective for you if this is already the case. 
If you do not have a 20 level math course yet, you have to take MWA 20, Workplace and Apprenticeship 20 in grade 12. Okay, so hopefully you already have this credit and you're just looking to take the one. But if you don't have Workplace and Apprenticeship 10, you're gonna select both of these courses in your grade 12 year. If you already have Workplace and Apprenticeship 20 and you like to take math as an elective, your choices to take then are the foundations pathway. So you're going to take foundations pre-calculus 10, if you don't already have it, foundations 20, and that can lead you on to foundations 30. If you have foundations 20, you have other options. You can choose to take pre-calculus 20 and embark on the pre-calculus slash calculus pathway. So that would include pre-calculus 30 then, Calculus 30 and or AP Calculus 30. Foundations 20 is that requirement to graduate. If you're not sure what to do, ask a math teacher. We are more than happy to help you in your selection. High Performance and Psychology 20. This new course is designed to provide students with the opportunity to further their physical training ability and knowledge while developing an understanding of how different factors impact athlete performance. Students may take this course in grade 11 or 12 for a high performance and psychology 20 credit, in addition to earning their Phys Ed 20 and Phys Ed 30 credits. Wellness 10 is a prerequisite. Physical Education 30 can be taken in grade 12 as a 30 level credit and elective. Phys Ed 20 is a prerequisite. We are out of the building on a regular basis using different facilities for sports, training, and a variety of activities. We also have Physical Education 30 All Female as an option. This course is designed to provide students who identify as female the opportunity to experience a wide range of lifelong physical activities. You're looking for a class where you can be active, build habits and skills to lead a healthy lifestyle and have fun, this is the class for you. We can't wait to see you in one of our Phys Ed 30 classes. Tommy Douglas has a variety of supports for students in our building. So one of those supports is for students who are English as an additional language. Um, these are students who um, are bilingual or multilingual and have a first language other than English. And so in these classes, the AL teachers provide support with one-on-one -on -one help. Um, they help students with schoolwork and communicating, and they also um, help with learning a new language. It's really an awesome learning community. Uh, students also have more time to finish their work and prepare for exams and connect with services such as Open Door and other services for newcomers. And students who take EAL classes uh, usually have more success in their other classes. If you have questions, please talk to Ms. Bandula, Ms. Jorgensen, or any of the counselors for additional information. Students can also seek resource support, um, which is an elective for any grade. So a resource class is a good fit for you if you require extra time to complete your assignments, you benefit from support to prepare for or write exams. You need assistance with study skills and time management. You would like someone to advocate for your needs at school. You need a safe and calm environment to work on homework. And you work best with small student to teacher ratio, including a lot of one-on-one -on -one support. Uh, in resource classrooms, you have time uh, to work with a resource teacher uh, to help with your work. Resource supports work from other classes and students do not receive a credit for this class. However, if you need these assistance, it's a good class to sign up for uh, because it will help you um, in getting your other credits. Hey, thanks again for listening. And now's the time to go find out more information about all the classes that we just talked about in this slideshow. So please go search out for those teachers in those different subject areas and ask the questions you need to ask so you can make an informed decision for course, for course selection this year. Take care, and we'll see you again January 25th to 29th for part two of course selection.